clowning was part time at the start, two days a week, and three days in the OR nursing, and then then it became two days nursing, three days clowning, so it changed. Um, so it was good because I have the same three days, so the kids get to know what days I'm in. We have four employees, team members left, Geo, who are here in that first year, and we also invited anyone else who is. 45 years old and working at CHEO. Due to HR confidentiality, we can't tell you which group is which. <laughs> this is a poem I wrote my first year. And um, it, it stay, I don't write poem. I don't do uh, interviews very well because I go into Nervous Nelly, get extra gray hairs, you know what I'm saying? Like, like this, you know. I can't help myself, but that happens. <laughs> and then, but this is the poem I wrote my first year. A badge of silent love the laughter of a child, the hope of the parents, the heart of the staff, the fear of the unknown, a heart-to-heart -heart connection, more laughter from the playroom. You know what? We used to laugh when we'd hear this five-year-old say that. Uh, he's the five-year-old that wanted to send his cancer to outer space, so we did. We sent it to outer space. And not only that, uh, about a month later, um, Chris Hadfield came to visit him here at CHEO. Changing a moment, it does work. Uh, overwhelming at times, courage and hope from within, a hug given by a young child to a teenager, a hug returned. I don't like to show this part. Now are my freckles off? No. I'm not asking you. <laughs> she doesn't trust me. Megan, <laughs> don't trust her. No, nope, your freckles are, are still Good. perfect. The spirit of a sick child that keeps going until the end. A hug with no words. Never to be forgotten, I love you. So when you look back in your career, are you most proud of the nursing or the clowning? The clowning. Why? Touch the kids. The OR was more technical, you know what I mean? I did make a difference there with the surgeons, but they're not as easy to, to work around as the kids are. <laughs> They're a little trickier. Uh, allegations of impropriety against Molly Penny are totally unfounded. I'll make it a board meeting. <laughs> and they, they don't like board meetings, <laughs> so they're liable to leave. 